Hi, Caleb with Brownhouse here. In today's quick tip, we're gonna be talking about torque wrenches and how to use them. So we did a Smithbuster episode recently where we talked about torque and why it was important. So naturally now we kind of need to talk about the wrenches and how to use them. So there's two main types of torque we're gonna be going over here. That's gonna be inch pounds and foot pounds. So your smaller wrenches like these are gonna be measured in inch pounds and your larger ones like these here are gonna be foot pounds. So obviously an inch pound is definitely smaller than a foot pound and it takes 12 inch pounds to make up one foot pound. So you see where I'm getting at here, you can get yourself into trouble pretty quick if you get those two mixed up and very easily break something. Uh, and that's definitely what we want to avoid. So dealing with this smaller wrench here, I'll go over the setup of that real quick here. This one just takes the standard magnet tip bits, which you can find for a number of different fasteners out there. And you just rotate the bottom here, set your torque, and you're good to go. That's all you need to worry about. That's the torque rating, whatever the manufacturer recommends for your fastener. Uh, you just put your bit in and turn it till it clicks. That's it, it's just that simple. Now things get a little bit trickier when you start messing with the larger wrenches here. So if you've ever seen someone use one of these or you watch someone use it online, and assuming they're doing it correctly, um, there'll be a number of things you'll see. For the most part, they're gonna leave this piece right here, whatever adapter for their barrel nut or whatever they're using, they're gonna keep that 90 degrees to the main shaft. Now, that's not super important to be honest with you. I know some people are gonna blow up the comment section over that, um, over a lot I'm about to say about this wrench and using it on firearms, honestly. Um, but the reason they do that is so that their torque at being at that 90 degree angle is as true as possible because if you start dealing with other angles that's going to offset your actual torque value a little bit not significantly enough to really affect anything especially when you're dealing with barrel nuts um, but it won't be a true torque if you will and there's a number of calculations you can do you can even go if you just google like torque wrench calculations you'll see this whole mathematical formula come up that tells you how to you know measure your calculations to get the exact true torque uh, and if you'll notice, those numbers don't vary much. And your torque range on most barrel nuts for AR-15s, for example, range from 35 to 85 foot-pounds. So I know I'm giving you a lot of information here, but what I'm getting at is it really doesn't matter. Don't, don't overthink this, all right? So you'll just set your torque on the bottom here. And you don't have to put this at 90 degrees. I do just out of good practice and then you torque and you're, you're going to be really close you're going to be within you know one or two foot pounds of where you need to be so like i said before you have a wide range to work within so it's really no big deal that's all you need to do for this torque wrench now the last thing i'm kind of going to get into here is another debate about torque wrenches whether you should set it and leave it uh, until you do use it again or if you should relieve the tension on it every single time you use it because there's a spring inside of here that you're basically tightening down every time you add tension to your torque wrench and i'll say that you know me personally i just leave mine set because most of the work i'm doing is repeatable so i'm going to be close to that torque range anyway and the torque wrench because it has that spring in it and we know from our you know magazine uh firearm magazine videos we know that the springs wear out from being used, not from being compressed. And they're, they're not at full compression. So these torque wrenches will actually wear out faster or become less accurate if you relieve the tension all the way every single time you use them, rather than just leaving them set to where they're at. So I always just leave mine set. So that's a big argument there. We're gonna go ahead and squash real quick. But yeah, that's the basics of it. So the takeaways here, don't mix up foot pound and inch pounds and your big torque wrench uh, settings whenever you're dealing with barrel nuts and rifle actions. It doesn't matter as much as most people say it does. Uh, how you have that wrench set up is what I'm saying. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them down below. Uh, if you have any other tips you'd like to add to that, post those down below as well. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. And if you have any more questions about torque wrenches, feel free to give us a call on the tech line. We'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.